pleasure to be back. One might say that this lecture is part two of a lecture I uh, gave uh, three years ago in uh, 2019, which was uh, a survey of the uh, U.S. case law on fair use, which you told me would be of interest because Singapore had adopted uh, a fair use provision into its copyright law with so far very little judicial interpretation so that the U.S. experience uh, might uh, be of particular interest. And three years ago, I discussed the, how it seemed as if a doctrine called transformative use, which had kind of taken over all of fair use, was uh, perhaps being rolled back by the uh, appellate courts. But there was uh, a recent district court decision, which I thought was a somewhat extreme application of transformative use. And uh, I was quite critical of that decision three years ago. In the intervening time, the Second Circuit reversed the district court. So part of my lecture today will concern uh, recent developments in the appellate courts, including the Second Circuit's reversal in a case called Andy Warhol Foundation against Goldsmith, which the Supreme Court has now heard argument in. So perhaps I will be back for part three of the continuing saga of fair use in the United States. Today's talk, however, will not only update from the talk three years ago, but will also explore a, a new area which concerns the relationship of fair use to artificial intelligence and the inputting of massive amounts of data uh, to create training data permitting machine learning, which allows the uh, AI system to generate uh, text, images, and much of the dispute is whether the AI system particularly for images, is actually creating its own images or is uh, sort of cutting and pasting from the images that are in the database. There have been uh, three lawsuits recently filed, and so uh, I will discuss the issues involved, and uh, perhaps were there to be a part three of this lecture, we might have some decisions in those lawsuits some years from now. Well, since it's not my first time, I, I've had the opportunity to explore areas that are perhaps not uh, on the completely beaten tourist track. So today I went to Little India and uh, walked around uh, a lot of uh, very interesting uh, colonial period houses and uh, went to a, uh, a spice market and a hawker center and got uh, a sambal mi goreng to take out. And so that was a pretty active morning. <laughs>